YouTube. In this video, we're going to cover how I pass my Databricks Data Engineering Associate exam in detail. So yeah, it took me around 10 days of preparation and it almost got like 90% in terms of score. So I got a decent score with a less amount of preparation. I use my standard three-step method to prepare for this exam. One thing to note is there's not a lot of material which is out there for you to do preparation. So that's why I want to make this video to kind of cover all these different aspects and kind of help you in your journey of preparing for this exam. So before we move on to the three-step method, let's first of all look at how the exam looks like. So yeah, the exam kind of assesses individual's ability to use the Databricks Labels platform. It kind of consists of multiple modules. The exam timing would be around 90 minutes for this exam and they would be in total like 45 multiple choice questions and the time given is 90 minutes. In my perspective the exam wasn't as hard and you don't need to go into multiple different places to kind of prepare for this examination. You can go into like a single source of uh, information which is the Databricks Academy platform. One of the question is why do we even need the certificate in the first place? So the Databricks Lakehouse platform is kind of at the forefront of data engineering nowadays. So the platform is trying to combine all the data warehousing, data analysis, data science, uh, data engineering capabilities all together in a single place. Another part of this uh, solution is also the Lakehouse platform, Delta Lake, which is kind of a breakthrough technology from the existing ones. So it's kind of trying to replace the existing data lake plus warehousing technology, which is two separate silos. And trying to merge them into a single one. It's kind of the go-to platform nowadays for uh, data engineering, warehousing, machine learning, etc. Since the demand is really high for these kind of this platform, at least uh, there's a lot of opportunities in multiple companies available for you to look at. Uh, so hence, a certificate in this would definitely boost your chance getting into a new company which kind of uses this platform. So yeah, for, uh, one thing to note: the cost of the exam is two hundred dollars per examination. For me, I was able to give it for free. There's a quick catch to it. If you're interested, stay till the end of the video. All right, moving on to the three-step method to pass the exam. So step one is preparation. So for preparation, I mainly targeted these three modules, which I'm going to discuss just now. All of these resources came from Databricks Custom Academy platform. I did not go anywhere to any third-party course. For only one thing, which was third-party, was the mock exam, which I will cover later. But for all these three modules for preparation, only the Databricks Academy was kind of suffice. Only the Databricks Academy was uh, the whole sort of thing which I kind of used for the preparation part of it. One of the key things of this uh, Databricks Academy, the structure for preparing for the exam is not as straightforward. First of the things you need to look at is the, the main examination page, uh, the certification page, where all the details are kind of in a single place on how you can prepare for the examination. In terms of preparation, the first course I kind of looked at was the certification overview. Okay, the first thing you should look at how the certification exam would look like. This would allow you to kind of focus on these elements which you would need to pass the exam. So yeah, that's the first thing you kind of need to look at. It actually covers all the basics of the platform. Like it basically covers all the details on the exam and how the questions will be asked. This tutorial would not cover like all the services which are being used uh, in Databricks, but it's more around how you kind of approach the exam one of the other things towards the end of this uh, tutorial is mock exam. So it, it will cover some of the mock exams which is already out there and given by the Databricks Academy. So you can try to use that and try to see how the kind of questions look like. I think even though before you start preparation, definitely look into the mock exam. This will kind of give you an idea on how the exam kind of looks like. Preparation, the next course I did was the fundamentals of Databricks Lakehold platform. So this uh, course kind of covered all these different fundamentals, uh, fundamental knowledge you kind of require to even use the platform. So if you if you are an engineer or a data engineer or data analyst, you need to know how you kind of go into the platform, how you kind of use these different services available in the platform to do your to work on your use cases. So yeah, in the fundamentals, it kind of covers uh, four main topics. Main thing, one of the first thing is what is the data lake house. It covers the second one is the it covers all the theoretical knowledge on how the data lake house has been built by Databricks. That's the first thing it will cover. How it, it is kind of outshining the existing technology which is out there. How it goes against like data lake and warehouses uh, altogether. How is the approach, how it has been built, the technology behind the data lake house. So the next topic is Databricks lake house platform. This will kind of help you get accustomed to the data engineering aspects on, uh, on the Databricks lake house platform. That's the next one. The next one is the security features, security and architecture fundamentals. I think this is also very important. Um, 
I covered multiple different topics on how the security features are kind of implemented. So yeah, uh, so all these are kind of important. Definitely go through this course. Uh, there are multiple different details to it. Uh, it kind of covers the following topics, which is the data lakehouse platform, like lakehouse technology as a whole. So how the data is kind of reliable. Uh, there's also another part of like unified governance and security and how the Unity catalog kind of uses it. Different, multiple different terminologies, uh, different workloads and how it is kind of supported across the Databricks platform. So the third course in this preparation is the Data Engineering with Databricks V2. So yeah, this course essentially is the holy grail of all the whole platform and what is going to be asked uh, as, um, as in for the topics in, in this exam. So this is how the whole data engine kind of works in the Databricks. So it kind of covers all the topics ranging from the platform itself, different services, Delta Lakes, the technology behind Delta Lakes, how the relation LTDs kind of work, how you can do ETL and uh, with uh, Spark SQL or, or with Python. So all these things. So it also covers incremental data loading, multi-hop architecture. I think this, a lot of questions kind of asked from this part of the exam is also multi-hop architecture. Delta Live Tables is also another important technology which Databricks is kind of using. Orchestration, navigating Databricks with SQL and endpoints. Uh, there's also endpoints on SQL, managing permissions and also productionizing dashboards using DBSQL. So yeah, all these different topics are covered in detail. Uh, I have everything in place. I kind of prepped all these notes uh, around while I was watching these tutorials. So I will leave a link as well. All right, so now that we have looked into Databricks Academy on all the learning resources, right? We've gone to three different learning resources which are important for you to clear the exam. The next step comes in preparing the notes or a documentation portal. To, for me to prepare notes or a documentation portal, I mostly use Notion for all these purposes. So this is how the documentation notes portal kind of looks like for me in Notion. So I kind of prepared all these important uh, topics so these are three were the three main preparation modules as part of the Databricks Customer Academy. Uh, so there's one certification overview, one for fundamentals, and then the whole data engineering aspects in Databricks. So we can go through one by one. So this is how it looks like. I, I kind of use a toggle feature uh, to kind of have my notes in place. Uh, there's exam expectation I want to look at. So there's exam expectation I want to look at, and I always went on like taking screenshot as I wanted, or maybe just write it down. So for example, we can look at how, what was important for me in terms of data lake. Basically, this module was mainly co covering the concepts which are going to come in the exam. So that was more important. So moving back this, after this preparation, I went to preparing the fundamentals, which consists of all these different concepts uh, around the fundamentals of the Databricks Lakehouse platform. So yeah, I kind of covers the concepts of like, what is a data lake house? I took screenshots, which were like, which I found important. Uh, to understand how the platform kind of looks like. So for example, this is one of the images from the screenshot looks like. It describes uh, how the data lake house platform is, what, what does it do, so what kind of things are being done. So yeah, this is how I've been keeping up to date with uh, the preparation I was. So even in the next case was, the next one was, uh, the next course was Databricks V2 and all these different topics uh, of the data engineering aspect of the Databricks were kind of covered here from the from that specific uh, module in the in terms of the preparation so yeah this is how it kind of looks like uh, i believe a link uh, for this uh, in the description so you can always follow through uh, how i can prep the things but i would still recommend you building on your own from scratch this will kind of enable you to learn the concept uh, maybe the hard way or maybe like in detail because you're kind of writing it down taking screenshot is also easier but someone something which is like really important you can always write it down so yeah that's how i kind of approach preparing and the notes uh, the documentation portal uh, for me I always kept coming back to this whenever i wanted to revise all these different concepts all right the step three and the final step for preparation is giving more exam so in this model, you need to mainly focus on giving these different mock exams which are available for you to look at. Uh, even though with uh, Databricks exams, there's not as much of a uh, mock exams kind of available readily on the internet. Uh, there's a few mock exams uh, available on their official website and then there's others you can find. So let's discuss in detail what uh, different type of mock exams I, will, I was able to give. But one th key thing to note, if you're preparing on a short deadline, especially in my case, I was on like a 10 days short deadline. Uh, definitely doing mock exam comes in, in 
handy because you know how the exam kind of looks like and the questions sometimes are are a variation of the questions you already have looked at so it's easy for you to kind of answer those as well and you also get to know all the flow in the exam you're kind of working at so uh, yeah so if you have short amount of time focus on the mock exam first and then kind of uh, do the preparation so the, the priority would be this then doing the preparation going on through these different tutorials uh, available in the customer database academy uh, as a part of the mock exam there's one practice exam available in the official website so let's look at that uh, so there's one practice exam available on this web official web website or even customer databricks academy so this is how the exam kind of looks like it's in a pdf format uh, it has all these different questions the retired mock exam questions also there's another mock exam which i found out which is there in the custom uh, customer academy but what i found out towards the end was the exam was as same as the exam which is there in this pdf so you just need to do it once maybe just go on to this customer academy portal uh, this would load you the mock exam and you can give it uh, again and again for me I gave it like two times at least earlier I got like 70% score then I kind of tried to improve it to get it like towards the best score and I, I got like 430 out of 450 so I gave it like a few times I would suggest you giving this a few times so yeah after I found all these different uh, these mock exam which is were officially available then kind of search over the internet, internet and found out these this Udemy mock exam, so someone kind of, uh, which someone which is like really helpful has kind of prepared this list of data engineering practice exam. Uh, there are a couple of links I kind of found out. I will leave a link in the description as well. But yeah, this was the one I kind of use. Uh, there's a decent amount of rating from the student. So there are like five tests. I was able to do like three or four ish of them. Uh, not all five because I didn't have much time. But yeah, definitely do these, do these in mock exam again and again. These really come in handy. So yeah, I kind of, uh, from for me, I always bend back to my notes and have prepared all the details. So for example, if I did first mock exam and, uh, and obviously towards the end of the exam, you have all the solutions. So you look at the solution and say, which area kind of lagged in. I kind of prepped all these notes for that exam, uh, that question, which uh, I did wrong. So this is how I kind of was approaching. And like towards the end of the paper, just before the paper, I kind of looked at these notes where I was kind of lacking, like the questions I was lacking and like just revise these. So yeah, give uh, as many times as you can do the mock exam. For me, this tutorial was kind of suffice with all these five mock exams and the one which is in the official website. So yeah, this was suffice and this was enough for me to kind of prep for the exam. And that's how I kind of eventually got around 88% uh, uh, in school. So yeah, this is the final step. The last thing I wanted to discuss how I was able to give the exam for free. So basically, I got an email from this APAC events at the Databricks.com because I've been looking into uh, Databricks services in the past. So I did, my email probably was on this list and I got an email which, dis uh, which discussed like how you can kind of get the certification voucher for free. There were a few things I needed to follow. I needed to attend a seminar and then kind of clear this accreditation for Data Lake House Fundamentals. So these two things and some bit of form and then like in a week's time, I, I got a certification voucher from them which was really nice. I didn't have to spend this $200 for it. I was trying to get uh, another one for professional exam, but I still don't have another voucher yet. But try this one out if this works for you. For me, it definitely worked. Uh, I got to know about this detail when I was in a conference as well. So yeah, this is all on how I kind of gave the exam for free. Uh, so yeah, that's all in, this, in terms of this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you got value out of this video, definitely the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot to push my content to people like you. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.